Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my thought, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. Not wasting my time, not wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. Wiggins back on the floor for Golden State. Splash Brothers, the ball is gonna fire the three. If they have the ball back here in three quarter and four. Great run, but the Nuggets. Jokic has it. Clock takes, got to put one up. Jokic for the win. So, we, I'm going to do a new segment here. For now on, every time I have my sunglasses on, just know a team or a player is about to get eviscerated. So, as y'all know, the Golden State Warriors went up against the Denver Nuggets last night in which Nikola Jokic, who is probably the best player in the game right now, hit a game when he fade away half-court shot at the buzzer to beat the Golden State Warriors. And on top of that, the Golden State Warriors blew an 18 point lead. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Golden State Warriors owe an apology to Steph Curry for this BS. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Owen, back again with another video. Warriors fans, be prepared. Y'all might actually like this, y'all might not. But I'm really about to dive in this team. First of all, prayers up. I mean prayers up to Steph Curry. A four-time NBA champion. League MVP. Best shooter guy he's ever created. Playing... Just like he's been playing over the last decade or so. And he's at age 35. Running around the court. Splitting screens. Coming off the screen. Hitting threes. Still running away from defenders. Defenders can't catch up. They don't know where he is. They're still looking for him. He's over there. He's still getting to this, his spots. He's still dribbling, boogieing on you. He's still getting to the basket. He's still doing Steph Curry things. He's making, he's still making unbelievable shots. He's still doing his thing, but the numbers don't show because of the rest of the team. They're not doing anything, right? I'm going to dive in by player by player. I'm going to start with this player. Number two, he's actually been hooping. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. I, I'm, I apologize, but I don't know how to pronounce his name. He's actually been getting, giving effort with this team. Making big time three point shots in the corner. Getting back on defense. Getting to the spot. Kavon Ludi. Four rebounds. Four. I don't, I don't care if it's New Jokic. I don't care if it's Aaron Gordon. Wasn't you getting 20 plus rebounds in the playoffs? Where Where's this Gavon Aludi at now? Nowhere to be found. Clay Thompson. You know what? You had a solid game. And I'm going to say this about Clay Thompson. 
what everybody's talking about how bad he's been playing, there's a reason. And honestly, I don't blame him. They don't want to extend his contract. This is why he's playing like this. He's still Clay Thompson, in my opinion. He still can ball. He's still one of the top five shooters of all time, in my opinion. Nothing really has changed about Klay Thompson, in my opinion. Maybe a little bit defensively, but obviously he's still shooting the ball. He's not shooting that well, but it's a mental thing because the organization don't want to give him his flowers. And which y'all should before he gets traded or before he requests a trade out of Golden State. Would that happen? Probably not. But if y'all keep treating him like this, not giving, extending him just contract and just giving his flowers because he is a big part of y'all dynasty, he might be out the door. So that's why he's playing with this. Mentally, he's not there. He had a solid game. He had 24 points, made a couple threes. Wasn't really there to be found in the fourth quarter. But that was the whole team. Dario Sarge. Dario Sarge. Good minutes. Good offensive play. Good passing ability. Could not down shots when he's open. But actually, he got the he got this team in rebounds last night. Seven. So that's the big that's not a big problem. Y'all too small. The leading score, re, the leading rebounder has seven rebounds. Seven? What game am I gonna win? Everybody else, you check you check the stats. Four, 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 four. So I can cut it. So Sarge, you get a pass. You just doing your you just playing your role because that's all really you bring. Chris Paul. Honestly, I don't really don't have time. I don't want to waste my breath talking about him because I said it beginning of the season like this is not going to work. I, I, in my opinion, this is like you just got another passer who is almost forty, who's up in age, is going to kind of get in the way of Curry's ability, even though he's going to feed off Curry, even though Curry's going to feed off him. Is this you're in the way? You're you're in the way. In my opinion, you're just in a way. And that proved that in the last possession, which Curry made a, a bad decision by, you know, trying to pass all the way in the corner to Andrew Wiggins, which Chris Paul was open in the top of the key. Speaking of Andrew Wiggins. I feel like he forgot how to play basketball since his um, off-the-court situation, which... That's his business. We, don't, we shouldn't be talking about that. Hopefully he gets better. Hopefully he's handled, he handled that, right? He forgot that he was an all-star a couple years ago. Now, he's playing like he's barely a role player on his team. He's been playing like this. You know, starting the season, 15 games in the season, it was one of the easiest plays we can do on prize pits. Underdog, you can go over or under a steal. I'll always go under. He would never get a steal. He would never get a block. Rarely he'll get a block. But it was five, six straight games straight. He would never get a steal. So there's that. Defensively, he's not there. Offensively, you'll see him standing in the corner, just like a bot standing, like the Statue of Liberty, looking, looking magnificent, I guess. And doing this. Which Curry tried to pass you the ball. But obviously that was going to be an easy turnover for Jamal Murray. We're not really seeing an explosiveness from Andrew Wiggins like that. We're just seeing a lot of jump shooting. In which he's not really shooting the ball well. So he's kind of pointless on his team right now. He's pointless. Then let's get to... You know what? I'm going to get to both of these people. John and Kuminga and Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr. 
I don't blame Johnny Don, Johnny Kaminga one bit. How come you play Johnny Kaminga the whole first half balling 16 points, 5 for 7 from the field? You don't play him at all in the fourth quarter. And you've been doing this to him this whole season. Really, his whole playing career since he got to the Warriors. You are definitely limiting his potential. We don't know what kind of job to we're going to see on, on a different team. Because right now, he's going to only bring you what he can bring you when he's on the court. But Steve Kerr just don't really trust in him, it seems like. And why why are you not playing Moses Moody? What, what's the deal with that? Is he hurt? I Lord's friends, just let me know, please, down in the comments. Y'all can come back to me. I don't I don't care. Let me know why they not playing Moses Moody. What's the deal with that? He's solid. What, what is the point of these players y'all drafted? Y'all wasting potential. And then, obviously, Draymond's situation. And then now you got Kaminga in the news with Steve Kerr. And then you got Steve Kerr talking about we, they like great on this team. No, Steve Kerr, you lack... Grit trying to give these people a potential opportunity. This Wiggins ain't gonna you nothing, so you're gonna have to make a trade. Keep, keep Clay Thompson, but treat him like he's that dude, like he's been that dude for this decade. For this, this franchise, if y'all don't do this, y'all gonna keep Steph Curry frustrated. Like I said, praise up to Steph Curry. This man running around the court like like the fairs with like circles were all around the court just trying to get buckets for nothing at this point. For y'all to blow a 18-point lead with six minutes left to play in the game. It's pathetic. Golden State, y'all gotta get it together, man. Y'all not as bad as the Lakers, but I'm not even gonna waste my breath on the Lakers. I already talked about the Lakers. There's no it's not even worth wasting my breath on the Lakers. Words, y'all gotta get together, bro. This is this is ridiculous. That's all I gotta say for this video. But y'all enjoy. Give your boy life, subscribe to your channel if you're new. Comment down below y'all thoughts on the Warriors struggles and Steve Kerr and what he's doing with Kaminga and the, the young potential they have on the scene. And I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. Give me a thousand subscribers. I appreciate y'all tuning in. It's been your boy Will and I'm out.